Hello and welcome. Today I want to give you a quick glance into a project that I'm working on at the moment. It's the reason why Franz Fury and all the tutorials are progressing a bit slower than usually at the moment. But don't worry, I'll get back to that as soon as possible. The project is part of my new job and don't run away yet, it's made in Godot. The project is called Cloudkeeper by Sum Engineering. It's a tool that does all the dirty work, all the cleanup and housekeeping in a cloud or multi-cloud environment. So a very technical tool. It's an open source project on GitHub and it does a lot of things to you that you can control via a command line interface. But I don't want to go too much into depth. This is not an advertisement video for the product. I want to give you a look into the stage of the UI prototype that was done in Godot. Like I just said, the UI is still a very early prototype. It's just a rough direction and should give you an idea about the look and feel of the user interface. So let's jump in, have a look at it and I give you some of my thoughts about the individual interface components. This is the first screen you see when you start the UI. It's a graph view of the cloud environment, in this case it's AWS. You can use keyboard shortcuts or just click the buttons on the top to jump to the different views. On the dashboard you can see different metrics that are collected by CloudKeeper. The goal is to have a flexible system the user can design to the personal taste or needs. Each display component here is a Godot scene that receives data from the dashboard and managing its display style. Right now it's still of limited use, but when we will be done, the data displayed here will be totally linked to the information in the graph. It won't be just informative, but interactive, allowing you to use the dashboard as a part of the navigation in the graph. Going back to the graph view, we of course have a search. Here you can quickly search for resources in your cloud. It also looks for queries in our query library. At the moment it's just one example. Later we will have a lot of queries available that will help you to quickly take action. That takes us to the query library and in the future to the query editor. Here you can quickly load and save preset queries and edit them to your situational needs. The plan is to also display the computational cost of a query in CloudKeeper. I want to show you a couple of things you can do on the graph view. In this version I put three little buttons in the corner. You can randomize the graph and recalculate a layout by using a spring force directed graph calculation. You can navigate around the graph and highlight individual resources, see their connections and jump to other resources using the search. When the resource is selected, it shows you some information about it. It also gives you a couple of actions. Contacting the owner of the resource, for example via Slack, Discord or Mail, managing the tags or marking the resource for cleanup. A challenge in a complex cloud or multi-cloud environment is the dependencies of resources to each other. To help with this, I added the blast radius view that shows you which other resources are connected to this in a from to relationship. And that's it for the moment. As I said, this is still a very early prototype. It does not feature a backend connection yet. But we're working on that and as soon as the backend connection is in place, the graphical user interface will have some use. If you want to try it out or have a look into the Godot project to see how I did some of the things, I will put a link to the repository in the description. If you could leave a star at the GitHub project, that would be highly appreciated. It will help us with visibility for the project. I will send you a virtual high five for it. If you want to talk about the project or have some questions, just join our Discord, we're there and we're happy to talk. And of course, I couldn't resist putting in an early Easter egg so check this out. I bet you never explored your cloud like this before. And if you found this video interesting, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see you the next time. Bye!